Hi there, Aries. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your December general reading for 2021. If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. And a warm welcome back to my regular subscribers. You guys know the drill. We're going to start off with the Oracle cards and then get into the Tarot spread, which is the beginning, middle, and the end. Don't get hung up on the time frame. Pay attention to the story and the action points because time's always moving, guys, okay? And a reminder, I'm reading for lots of different people, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit. If you want something more private and personable, you can go to my website at harmoniafriends.com. All of that information is on the description box below to book a Harmonite session. Just remember the Harmonite sessions is for you to take stock of your life. So it's not just a reading, guys. It's a one-on-one -on -one session with me, but they're channel messages, mediumship. Um, it's a unique kind of setting of what you need to know to get through blockages. All right. Let's get started. Let's see what's going on for Aries for December. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascended masters as to what messages we have for Aries. What is going on for Aries? Spirit, what is going on for Aries? Ooh, I love this. Manifestation and good luck. Good luck. All right. This is great energy for you, Aries, because this is this is basically the magician card here. If you had, if you had this regular tarot, right, you already are starting something new, brand spanking new. You have all the tools that you need. Luck is by your side here, but listen, I also see this too with this cat. As you see the cat, I almost see a sarcastic thing of good luck. I don't know if you've had people, and this is a channel message, and I'm an intuitive reader. I feel that. You have some naysayers on your side here. I feel that they people see you as openly manifesting, being um, a believer of faith, of trusting the universe, of facing that moon energy of the unknown, and people around you do not have the same kind of belief system in that level. So what happens, Aries, is they give you snarky remarks like, good luck, but they're curious about you just like this cat. There is transformation here with this cat energy, and I do feel like you have luck on your side. But let's see what the cards have to say. Here we go. Yeah. Are you kidding me? We're starting off with judgment. Feeling judged, right? The two of swords energy here. We have the knight of swords energy with the four of wands. In the middle, we have the king of swords. A lot of air energy here. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We have the eight of coins. We have the empress energy here. We have the two of wands reversed. We have the knight of cups reversed. And we have the ten of cups reversed with the six of swords and the two of cups. Something is coming together here with the devil energy, Capricorn energy. This was reversed, all right? End of toxicities for you. The negative mindsets, gone, cleared. Many of you are taking care of yourself. Could be even starting, um, I don't know, a new health regimen. It's something where the level you are taking care of yourself. You are taking stock of your life, Aries, all right? For a lot of you, remember I had said, said there's a new ascension coming here with that judgment card here. All right. Major Arcana, especially with the two of swords. I feel for a lot of you, the crossroads is that you kind of go back and forth with what people say. Like I had said, you get some kind of those snarky remarks of good luck. And it's like, I'm tired of the judgment. I'm ready to ascend to new levels. And there is something big coming here for you. Because whatever is coming forward, you, forward towards you is coming quickly here with the Knight of Swords energy. It does feel like an abrupt message. It does feel like it has to do with the home front or what brings you unity or celebration. Some of you, this could come in the essence of a relationship that you've been manifesting or a job you've been manifesting. This doesn't feel like a reconciliation of any sort. So I don't feel like it's that. It feels like the more of the energy of like, I am done with toxic people, toxic environments, and I'm looking forward towards something that will bring me stability here and honesty. And you do have that. In the middle here, we have the King of Swords. Logic, truthful, 
honest as can be, but very strategic. And I feel if this is not your energy here, <clears throat> carrying that air energy of Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, you could have someone in your vicinity here who is very logical, strategic, could have to do or very good with their craft in every level. But I feel like this person is evaluating you, evaluating you in your craft, evaluating you how busy you are working on. And you are working hard on something, okay? What you are working on with the Empress energy, more of that Taurus energy here, is an opportunity to grow or have a new birth of something, okay? It almost feels like a, it doesn't feel like a rebirth or reconciliation. Like I said, this feels like a new birth, something new developing here, okay? So if this is a job opportunity, this is someone who is honest, um, authentic and has the opportunity to help push you forward in growing within your craft. But if this is relationship wise, you have a solid person here who wants to work with you. Okay. They see that you're hard at evaluating yourself and your own needs. Um, but there's thing here with the two of wands, which is all about options and choices. And you see this key in the middle it is reversed <clears throat> with the Knight of Cups reversed underneath this and the Ten of Cups. But this is what's interesting. I don't feel like you're going towards a choice that is not going to be fulfilling to you. I feel like you are moving away from choices that are no longer fulfilling to you. Okay? Because you've had a lot of empty cups here in the past empty offers coming towards you that you thought were very loyal to you. But the fact that this is reversed, followed with the Six of Swords right after, to me, it's you're moving away from that. I feel like you have someone in your life who also sees that you are manifesting and moving away from that. This isn't a person who is a naysayer like some of those other people who are giving you that backward good luck, okay? I feel like this is genuine here, all right? It is because we have the two of cups. So the two of cups is about a partnership. It's where someone sees you, hears you, understands you, same vibration. You can grow with this. So this is a solid partnership in the making. So let's see what the outcome cards have to say. We're using the after tarot. I do not do reversals on the after tarot. Let's see what we have here. What's the outcome spirit for Aries? <clears throat> this manifestation is really powerful for you. Wow. Wow. Definitely. Well, and we got some validation cards here, some dupes. All right. The three of wands. You have been waiting for solid foundation and a message for a higher perception of what you've been manifesting. Some of you have been a little bit in your head. Like I said, you have somebody here with this Eight of Swords, which is after Tro. Notice that it's not you in your head trying to say that you can lift the sword and cut it off. Someone is cutting it off for you. Your anxiety is going to be lifted away from you. Why? Because we have the Hierophant and the Four of Wands again. You are moving towards celebration and a solid partnership of some kind. If this is work, this is someone who sees you as an equal, but also someone who could mentor others as well. So this could even be a promotion, guys. Um, but if this is love, this is someone who sees you in the way of, okay, this is going to be long term, okay? They could see potential marriage with you. They can consider this a solid relationship to grow with, move with. Some of you, I hear this could even be moving a distance. This person could be at a distance from you and you have to travel to them. But it is solid, guys. I feel like it's really, really a solid relationship and, um, you know, room for abundance here for you. But you have a lot of people who watched you beating at your own pace, at your own drum, and... Like I said, we're those naysayers and they're all kind of dissipating at this because you've, you've did this. When I introduce joy to a situation, 
I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. You see the power of the universe here, Aries, all right? You see the power of that. You know that if you raise your vibration in a healthy way, not ignoring it and just bypassing and saying joy, 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 happy, happy, joy. I feel you really have accepted what low vibrations are and what the higher vibrations are and really adjusted your meter, meter kind of like polarization if you're looking at hermetic law. But to me, I really feel because you've introduced this in a healthy way, you've created balance and you've created a frequency that allows this king of swords to see and hear you because they match your frequency, okay? They match your frequency. So you know that this is changing all around it. So what might seem like good luck to other people is that you have worked really, really hard for this um, by working on yourself, by working on yourself. All right, Aries, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget, I'm also on Facebook underneath Harmonia Friends. Would love to see you there as well. Take care.